Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under with another episode of the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week, Week 182. Now as always, please go and send in your clips and go and keep this series alive. But let's get straight into it, starting off with the number 5 spot, and that is Anvion Edits on Showdown Quarantine Region in a 1v10 scenario. Alright, so Anvion has 30 seconds on the clock, and that may not seem like a lot of time, but when you're free running, it can be an eternity. So he's going to go on the roof, and then he's going to go on the truck, and then on the other roof, and a lot of zombies go and lose the trail. However, he's got nowhere to go besides the ground, and he's really got to go and make the best of this scenario. Going and dodging off the stairs, and then going a bit of a wrap around the pole, goes and really, really makes the zombies extremely confused. Now with 5 seconds left, back on the truck, back on the roof, Four, three, two, one, and he goes and wins the round. Absolutely fantastic way to start the top five players of the week. Now, coming in at number four, we've got Taki Anarchy, and he's on Sandhook SD using an L96A1 Arctic Wolf. He's got the normal frag grenade. He's going to go and chuck it over the building, attempt to go and get a pick, gets absolutely nothing. He misses the first shot, he misses the no scope, but the USP puts a couple shots into him and goes and picks up his first, first kill. A smoke grenade blocking off a lot of vision, and it doesn't exactly matter because he's got control of the left, now he's got control of the middle with that really nice quick scope, but he hasn't got control of the catwalk area. Getting rid of that box so no enemies can go and hide behind it. Reloading the L96A1, he's going to go on a bit of an adventure. Misses the first shot, but he's going to go back for more and picks it up on the second time. Now with catwalk control in his favour, it's going to be really easy to get some sniper kills, but he misses the first shot, whips out the USP and gets the guy trying to go and flank him. Now going on the hunt, trying to go and find some more enemies. The L96A1 in hand goes and pulls off a very nice quick scope. The guy had absolutely no chance. Gets a second one as well. That's a double kill. Now down to a 1v2 scenario in his favor. And that guy is on the catwalk exactly where he was. Reloads his USP. He's only got 8 HP. Very, very aggressive. And in the end, he can't go and finish it off. But guess what? He's got one more shot left in him. And he goes and pulls off a fantastic kill. Now, coming in at the bonus spot this week, we have got Matankun on Ghost Town Quarantine Region with this extremely weird nade. He's going to go and set himself up, going to go in this really weird spot, aim at the wall, and guess what? It's going to go through the wall, and he's going to go and get the infection kill. That was absolutely insane. Now, talking about insane clips, number three right here, it's Crux CAE, and he's on Warhead SD trying to go for a 1v7 Ninja Defuse. Ridiculous. Trying to go and save the game. The alpha team is on eight rounds. He's he is on five. Really got to go and pull out some big plays. The bomb's been planted, and he sees two people come out. Just ducks behind this little wall. Goes in. No smoke grenade. Smoke grenade in hand, but doesn't go and use it. Halfway through the defuse, he's going and sticking to it, trying to go and pull off, and in the end, he does go and do it. He barely, barely lives, however, somebody was shooting at him at the same time. Very, very lucky to go and pull off that clip, but fantastic work to go and go to the bomb site at the right time. Now, coming in at number two, we have got EN Beats on Death Row Quarantine Region in a 1v13 scenario. Now, he's got 15 seconds on the clock, but he's going to go for an explosive, explosive run. He's going to go and drop one nade, get a multi kill, gets the fantastic, going to go and drop one more nade, he's going to go and get the unbelievable. Four seconds left, going to go and drop some more, gets an unbelievable plus two, and he's going to go and finish up with the unbelievable plus three or plus four, whatever it was, it was ridiculous. Now, coming in at number one, the clip that beats them all is Draft Sun on Power Surge SD. Using the ONA 6A1 Black Magnum in a 1v6 scenario. Now, he's seen around the power generators trying to go and find an early, early pick. He's going to go and do that with a very nice headshot. And he's going to see around the power generators for a little bit more, trying to go and find at least one more enemy. Being really, really patient, he goes and pulls off the shot, dropping down, now going on the offensive, trying to go and find the other enemies. Two minutes on the clock, 100 HP, more than capable of doing so. But he goes and gets flanked. He twitches around, point blank shot, USP in hand, 17 HP, shoots a guy straight in the face for the double kill. Now he's looking for the bomb plant, but he sees another enemy. He's got no time for the bomb plant. He's going to go on the aggressive, a fantastic quick scope. One person left, the USP headshot for the double kill, the separated accolades regardless. But that was absolutely insane. Well deserving of the number one spot. Make sure to go and send in your clip for week 183. You can submit them by private message, but other than that, undercover dudes all the way from down under.